Hi there, welcome to a very quick tutorial where I want to show you how to format dates and currencies in Glide in order to print them correctly using Docs Automator. And um, this is something that comes up quite often. Many uh, Glide users that are using the Docs Automator integration ask me this, how can I format my dates and currencies so they are printed correctly? I'm going to show you in the next, I guess, two to three minutes how um, that can, how that works and how it can be fixed. So let's look at the issue first. I'm going to go to the layout editor here. I have a random document basically where I print a date and a currency number. Can't really see that this is a currency, but I'll show you the field. The date field is the start date. So you would expect it comes out like this and the currency is um, something it's called monthly rent in the context of this app. Um, and we see this here. So you would think it comes out as, as this dollar amount, but it doesn't. It comes out as an integer, just a number. So let's look at the date first of how we can fix that. I'm going to add a column um, on the right to this, a new column where I uh, reformat that date. So basically what we're doing is we're turning this into a uh, text that then is going to be passed to Doxometer one-to-one. So that's exactly how it's going to look like in um, the final printed document. Um, for this, Glide has a format date field, um, and then we need to give the date that we want to format, and then we need to give um, a certain code. And for this, Glide has um, this help page um, where basically you add this formatting parameter, and that does something. And what they're using is called um, Luxon. Um, and if you click on it, you can see all of these formatting options here. Um, so for instance, four times D uh, leads to a string like this, localized date with full month and weekday. So let's look, let's use this, but you can use any of these uh, formatting parameters and they will um, produce the um, uh, text that you see here on the right side. So let's uh, use four times D. I'm going to add this here. I'm going to save it. And now you can see um, that we get a nicely formatted date. Let's look at the currency and how we can um, fix this one, I'm going to add a um, column here again and call this monthly rent uh, formatted. Um, and for this, I'm just going to use a template field. And the template field, uh, let's call this uh, num, for instance, and we replace num with the monthly rent. And this basically turns this number into a text. This is a, this is a lookup field, but the, what's looked up here is a number field. And this turns this into a text now. And now we're going to map these uh, two fields. I'm going to go into layout, into the docs automator mapping date. We use the start date reformat uh, currency. We use the monthly rent. Sorry, got that formatted, not reformat. That's done going to click on create PDF. We wait a second. And there we go. We have nicely and nicely formatted date and a nicely formatted currency number. Hope that helps. And if you have any further questions, please let me know. Uh, reach out in the chat, reach out on the Glide community forum. You know where to find me. And now I wish you happy automating and speak to you very soon.